I'm demoing you about to find out how I made Magna Carta's Holy Grail. So we all know, start the show with some vocals. So once I get the vocals kind of going, I see what that blend is like. Well, I started as a DJ when I was younger. So I was, I came to Full Sail thinking, well, I want to learn how to make beats to make stuff that goes on the radio. And then I learned about engineering, and then I was like, wow, the producer isn't really the guy. Like, without the engineer, the producer really can't get the things out there. So you can have all these great ideas, but if you can't go out and be able to manifest them, you're kind of stuck with just good ideas. I decided when I was in Full Sail, I said, you know, I'm gonna be a really good engineer, and then I'll evolve to being a good producer and eventually a great producer, and from there on. Working on the Magna Carta album came because of Timbaland too. We did Fade to Black, and that's the first time I met Jay, which was, I think, 2005. We did Dirt Off Your Shoulders. Jay-Z said I left an impression on him from that time, and he told, I hadn't, I hadn't seen him in years. And me and Tim Lin didn't speak for a couple years. I was out doing other things, and he was doing other things. And then one day he called me, he's like, man, we gotta get back together. I got so much work, and I would love for you to come in and work, work with me on some records. And literally, you walk into the studio, there's Jay-Z. And Jay-Z's like, oh my God, finally, I've been, I've been waiting for you. The truth is, I've been working with Tim just to get to you. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where you were. He's like, oh, come to the other room. And it was just like that, went right into Magna Carta. So while I was doing this, I had a bunch of different effects. It's like, man, what if you put me in a stadium? It's a stadium? Didn't realize that he was actually thinking of the Legends of Summer Tour. So he tried that, and from that, it, it kind of sounded like it was too big. He's like, well, we started going back and forth with what, trying to get a sound that still sounded big, but was intimate. Which was kind of, it's kind of tricky to do because when you're trying to make a big sound and make something to me and a big sound is, is, you have to do a lot of little things. So what we started doing is we cut down some of the overall effect and started adding little delays to it. So when you hear, you'll start noticing that there's these little small delays inside his voice. Take the clothes off my back and I let you. Anytime I get to even be around them is, I'm grateful for it, but to be able to, get the opportunity to work on a whole album with him was, it's probably one of the most monumental moments and memorable moments for me in my life. I believe that if you really want to do something, you got to focus on it. And if you figure that one thing out and you just put all your eggs in that basket, you're like, man, but what if it doesn't work? Well, if you put all your eggs in the basket, you have to make it work. I mean, you can't match real world experience, which is a great environment to learn in because at least here they, they model what the hours, what some of the demands would be like. So you're not gonna really get that anywhere else. If you're really serious about doing it, and this doesn't have anything to do with really music or anything else, it just has to do with life. If you wanna go get these things in life, you gotta bet on yourself, because no one else is gonna do it. <laughs>